Hi, in this video, I will install Ubuntu. For demonstration purpose, I will install it as a virtual machine. But the process is exactly same if you are installing via bootable USB. You can directly skip this video from the timestamp. Open your favorite browser and simply type Ubuntu. You will find the first link from ubuntu.com. Click on this. Yeah, accept all and visit website. At the time of recording this video, we have this Ubuntu 20.10. Go to download section. You can also see here Ubuntu desktop 20.04. This is the LTS version and 20.10. For now, I want this LTS version. But if you want to install the latest flavor of Ubuntu, you can go to 20.10. The installation process is exactly same. I prefer 20.04 because it's LTS, long term support. Simply click on this and it will take you to the download page and your download will start soon. So yes, it's asking me 20.04. The size is 2.6 GB. Just click OK. It will take around 2 to 2, 3 minutes. Alright, our download is complete. Now you can make it bootable or you can follow this video and install Ubuntu as a virtual machine using VirtualBox. So for VirtualBox, just refer this card for installation. And after installing VM VirtualBox, it will look like this. Previously, I have installed Kali Linux on this virtual box. You can also watch this video from the card. And uh, for now, let's create a new machine. Click this new icon and name it Ubuntu. This is your virtual machine folder. Type is Linux and version is Ubuntu 64. All awesome. Click next. Here you will provide the memory size. I prefer minimum 2048 MB, which is 2 GB. Click next. And always prefer create a virtual hard disk now and click create. Always choose VDI virtual box disk image. Click next and uh, here dynamically allocated you can read about uh, dynamically allocated from here click next now provide storage to your virtual machine i will provide 50 gb for now and hit create so i can see a new virtual machine is created named Ubuntu before actually starting installing Ubuntu just make some prior settings go to settings and in basic you can see name is Ubuntu type Linux and version 64 that you have chosen earlier go to advanced and here you can see shared clipboard which is disabled make it bi-directional and same for drag and drop and next go to system this is the base memory which we are located 2 GB. Boot order, just uncheck floppy and click network. Processor, one CPU is enough, but you, if you can, just provide two CPUs. Now go to display. Increase video memory to the extreme right. If you see acceleration, on your system just enable this it will make uh, your animation more better now go to storage we will get back to storage shortly just check other settings for audio network in network by default uh, it's NAT just change it to bridge adapter and this is for serial port USB shared folder 
this will be your shared folder between your host machine and virtual machine and user interface everything looks good now let's get back to our storage and you can see here it's empty no disk image file selected you can see a small disk icon here click on this and click choose a disk file I can see in downloads Ubuntu 20.04 which we just downloaded click open now click ok here is a summary of your Ubuntu virtual machine just click start and your installation process will start startup disk will be Ubuntu and click start you can cancel these warnings yes my Ubuntu installation is just got started and if you are installing Ubuntu via USB you will see the first page as like this only yes I can see my Ubuntu is starting and that's a very pretty sound yes this is a very typical Ubuntu thing which will give you option like try Ubuntu or install Ubuntu and from here you will choose your language I will choose English as my language and uh, yes I will install Ubuntu yes this is your keyboard layout I am using e English US and language is also English but if you are using some other keyboard you can just find it here and uh, test your keyboard here for now the settings are all good for me click continue choose normal installation and uh, here download update while installing Ubuntu is checked right third party software for graphics Wi-Fi hardware and digital media format yes check this too click continue choose erase disk and install Ubuntu don't worry it will erase nothing on your Windows host machine just click install now if I click continue all these changes will be written click continue yes choose your location whatever location you are physically at so I'll choose India here click continue provide a username to your Ubuntu it will be educators in my case and computer's name you can erase virtual box yes now choose a strong password rewrite it and uh, choose login automatically or require my password to login click continue yes installation is ready yes copying files this will take a while yes now I can see installation complete installation is complete you need to restart your computer in order to use new installation simply click restart now if you are using virtualbox this will shut your 
virtual machine and restart it again but if you're using a uh, actual machine so it will power off actually and then reboot again yes please remove installation medium then press enter it is recommended but for now just press enter and my machine is rebooted so yes my ubuntu is rebooted and i can see username if you remember this is the username i created you will see yours and now you provide your password yes online account just skip for now but if you want you can sign into any of them skip life patch next you can select if you want to send info to canonical or not i will select no i don't send system info click next privacy location services by default it's off let it be off for now click next you are ready to go click done so yes this is your ubuntu 20.04 this is the lts version which we have installed now if you maximize this window you can see it not automatically set as per your display so for that click devices and click insert guest edition cd images click run yes this will ask your password type your ubuntu password again and click authenticate now press enter to close this window after that just power off your virtual machine and restart it again so my ubuntu is powering off simply click start here to start your ubuntu again yes my ubuntu is powered on and uh, yes and now if i maximize it you can see it will automatically adjust according to the screen if i restore it yes you can also drag to extend it will adjust automatically and if you want to enjoy your ubuntu like the actual machine you can go to view and uh, full screen mode so yes you will feel like you are using actual machine so i can see this is a very cool looking ubuntu a very new with all fresh icons i can see this new file icon i can also see a great menu here the terminal icon is also new just type terminal and you can see here your terminal with brand new icon by now installation of ubuntu is done i hope this video helped you like this video share with your friends and do subscribe to this channel